Welcome to Friday's vlog. Today I want to speak to you about false prophets and false religions and today I want to show you some of them that uses elements of the Christian faith in theirs and it really does lead people astray and get them confused. But we need to, when we look at these, understand the Bible. This is where we should all go to and this is what we should all read, especially these false prophets and false religions out there and they obviously don't. The Bible is today's witness. We don't have Jesus Christ here anymore as the early disciples knew that Jesus was who he said he was, that he was God. It's revealed to us through the Bible. Without the Bible, we don't have that knowledge. And this is where we should go to understand our faith and what we believe in. It's reliable. It's written down by those early witnesses uh, of Jesus' life, of what happened after uh, he ascended into heaven and how the early church formed and then letters to the early church. Without reading the Bible, we end up with wacky religions. But it's important to take into account what Peter says in this letter. Above all, you must realise that no prophecy in scripture ever came down from the prophet's own understanding or from human initiative. No, those prophets were moved by the Holy Spirit and they spoke through God. So what is given to us in the Bible, what is revealed in the Old Testament about Jesus Christ, was given by God and nobody else, revealed through the Holy Spirit. So if someone says, I'm a prophet and this is what's being revealed to me, we know more than likely it is not from God through the Holy Spirit, it's from them. And this is what these people have done with these crazy religions. So let's have a look at the first one. These are called the heavenly angels. See Jesus Christ at the top there. This was invented by Ivo Benden in the 1990s from the Czech Republic. They believe in the cosmic people of light. Uh, these people live in paradise. And to communicate with us, there are lots of spaceships around the Earth. But surprise, surprise, you can't see the spaceships because they're protected by shields. The Earth is a conscious being. That's why it says love your planet because she loves you too. I doubt she loves us too much with what we're doing to it at the moment. And Jesus was a fine vibrations being, whatever that means. It's interesting how they got spaceships there, but you can't see them because they're protected. But obviously they knew what they looked like to draw them. you got these other characters in there as well. None of this is substantiated everything from this is refuted in the bible because it's not even there this is the atheria society uh, again invented uh, by a person this time george king from england in the 1950s and an extraterrestrial named atherius contacted him uh, nobody else it seems and and probably revealed himself to him uh, they believe that Jesus is from Venus. Uh, they also believe in reincarnation. The earth is a living goddess and UFOs. Hey, they should really contact and have a party with the heavenly angels um, because they believe in a lot of the same stuff. Again, this is uh, people not reading their Bible and, and making stuff up and for all self-glory. This is probably, I guess, George King. You would think they would have a picture of Aetherius up there. Um, but what's scary is you notice that this whole area looks like uh, from a church. So this would be the communion table or the altar. You've got a cross. You've got candles. You've even got plants that would be in church. Um, this is sucking people in and trying to get them in a familiarity that they already know. Um, but it's based on absolutely wacky ideas and very unsubstantiated. This again goes to another one that looks like a church okay so straight away here's a cross here's a pulpit here's an organ even written words up here um, looking like some churches do these are called the builders of the aditum invented in the early 1900s in the u.s by paul foster care they call themselves a mystery tradition of course because you can't believe anything or substantiate anything they believe that you should emulate Jesus because he was adept in the mysteries of building a living temple without hands. I don't know if that's referring to God knits us together in the womb. How can we emulate Jesus in that anyway? Um, we should be worshipping Jesus. They also believe in esoteric psychology, occult tarot and the Kabbalah, which absolutely goes against everything 
in the Christian faith. So how can they say you should be like Jesus and do a cult tarot in the same sentence? Uh, again, second people in uh, with this. And look at this. Know thyself. Know thyself. All these come across as knowing thyself. Not knowing God. It's all about yourself and the ego. And saying that, here's one that's really about yourself and the ego. The Mormons. Look at that amount of money spent on that when people are starving. This was invented by Joseph Smith in the 1870s in the USA. Um, they state that the Bible isn't reliable because it's been lost and lost through translation. But uh, he believes that he found this book by Mormon, which was the extra testament of Jesus Christ. That was written in Middle Egyptian and mm, even though Middle Egyptian has never ever been found ever anywhere in the world, even in Egypt as a language um, they believe that is true and he translated this Middle Egyptian using goggles um, here's the self bit and the ego they believe that we will all become gods of our own world wouldn't you love to be a god of your own world and they believe that God uh, is married and that we are all his spirit children before coming to earth it surely makes Jesus and the devil our brothers which is crazy and based on, again, unsubstantiated truth. Not even anything in the archaeological record about these um, Indian tribes that they talk about being around. And here's another one that uses the church. Uh, here we go. Church, the cross, uh, welcoming, and, and just looking like a, a temple or a church. Um, Scientology, again invented by an American, Ron Hubbard, in 1954. Here we go. It believes that they or they believe that they can offer a precise path to complete and certain understanding of one's true spiritual nature and look at this one's relationship to self it's all about the self no about giving no about sacrifice but um people are immortal um we're all life forms and i think they're saying the supreme being or do we become a supreme being um there are suggestions uh which i think they deny now that they believe in zenu who was an extra terrestrial dictator who brought billions of people to earth 75 million years ago uh, based on self based on stuff that is just um unsubstantiated this is a poster that i have on my wall in my office telling us you know we, we need to test to see whether these are from god um, we need to beware of false prophets they do come in sheep's clothing but they are ferocious wolves many people will be deceived many people will prophesy in the name of jesus christ every single one of those either used jesus christ or used elements of the christian faith to kind of make themselves familiar to people uh, a kind of safe introduction as it were God has never appointed them or spoken to them. They are prophesying false visions, divinations, idolatries and the delusions of their own minds. And the delusions of their own minds and the ego of the self is probably one of the, the biggest dangers. False Christ and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and miracles to deceive even the elect and the elect of those people who believe. So if, even if people who believe in Jesus Christ can be um, deceived so can many others it's a scary world out there this is what can happen um if you don't read your bible um if you don't understand if you don't ask questions uh, and challenge yourself don't just read the bible blindly read the bible and ask questions um if you don't think something's true we'll go and investigate it read that book cold case christianity by j warner wallace the case of christ by lee strobel those are, are really good introductory books which will help establish the reliability of the bible and uh, the early church i think the worst thing that people can do is is just go along not questioning anything whether they believe or don't believe i would always say ask questions and investigate the truth claims of what you're believing um, if you're christian study the bible it's really important study and understand the context it will only make your faith and your relationship with christ so much richer if you don't believe then ask questions in what you believe because i believe that christianity is true i was an atheist my life has completely changed and it's so much richer for that and i move forward every day understanding so much more and believing so much more um in the christian faith because it is the truth 
So if you have any comments or and you want to carry on the conversation further, put your comments in the boxes below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these episodes and I'll speak to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.